So, hello everyone. Um, can everyone hear me? Yeah. We still have some people coming in. Uh, I'm going to start now. So, hello everyone and welcome to my talk about how to speak manager. Um, I'm giving this speech for the uh, talk for the first time, so uh, I'm very curious if you're going to like it or not. So, if you have time, please wait the talk up. So, um, today what we're gonna, what we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna try to find out um, how many just think. Therefore, we're gonna take a look in their brain. <laughs> um, a second part will be, uh, we're gonna talk about um, how you can improve your relationship, or how you can imagine your, manage your relationship with uh, your manager, with your boss. Um, very important, how you can handle a mistake, so in this room or something. And uh, interesting, it should be interesting to see um, how you can, or how would I suggest to ask for a favor. So, um, my name is Dennis Banovic, I'm coming from Salzburg, Austria. I work for an uh, internet agency in Salzburg, we are about 35 employees, we build uh, tourism websites, and uh, my company is very kind to send me over to here. Okay, before we start with the talk, we have to make two assumptions. Your manager is not your enemy, so, uh, yeah. And you and your manager, you should have the same goal, and the goal should be to get things done. So your customers are happy, your so everyone is happy. Okay, brain. Let's take a look on the brain. How managers think. First of all, if you ever notice, uh, managers love blaming stuff. So think of that when you try to present your manager your new feature, you know, your new um, website, your new code, whatever you try to show them, try to polish it first, at least a little bit. They love blink, blink stuff. Yeah? For example, I remember my first uh, talk like this at Oscar, and the guy said, for example, if you take a watch that is a little bit blink, blink, and if you go like this, the manager is going to go. Okay, so think about that. Second thing, um, they mostly think numbers. The managers are very emotional, but usually they will think numbers. And this is most of the time, time and money. So when you try to um, Tell them your new feature, your new idea, your, that you want a new uh, notebook or a new machine or a new server, whatever. Think of time and money. So don't just say, I want, but go and say, hey, if you do this, this is going to save us this and that. So it's just a little bit different thing. Assumptions. This is a very interesting part. When you, um, when a manager comes to you and say, okay, uh, guys, we came to a river and we need to get across. So he's, he's asking for a feature. And basically, he thinks of something like this. Because the only thing he sees is the problem and he needs to get over the problem, so in this, in this case, it's the river we need to get over. So the manager thinks of something like this, so it should, shouldn't take less than one day to build. But uh, developers can take this seriously and say, okay, but we can do this. <laughs> Dig a tunnel. <laughs> yeah, we do too. So this is about assumptions. So when you 
when, when your manager comes to you and says, I want this feature, Re, uh, try to explain this feature in your own words. So, um, things like, am I getting this right? The user should be able to do this. Or the customer wants to do this. And so on. So don't just assume stuff. Because um, it could end up taking too long time and maybe this would have done. But that ship has played. <laughs> nice. It's fancy. That's it's interesting, beautiful. yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, sometimes you don't have enough time and money to do so much play. Or the river is too small. Sorry? Or the river is too small for such ship. Yeah. Um, Oh, if someone has any questions in between, just raise your hand. And uh, I know this is very sad, but your manager doesn't really care about your code or how it looks. Or most managers don't really care in what language is written and so it has to do the job. I know sometimes this is, uh, for me also, it's a tough, but that's how it is. We are not selling power code, we are selling features and solutions. But the biggest thing the managers have is fear. And when I say fear, I mean they are scared. They are scared to fail. They are scared to lose control, to offend. And to admit they have no clue what you are doing all day. So let's go through this point a little, the point a little bit. So they're just afraid to fail. They're afraid. Oops, sorry. They're afraid to fail because um, the lack of uh, they they can't really say how far are you with this feature or uh, if this feature is going to be on time or are we going to spend too much money on doing it? To lose control is it's basically the same. So uh, they, they have no idea what you are doing all day, and if you don't tell them, they have to ask. And if, when, when they ask, they are afraid to offend you, because uh, when you are offended, then you're going to be less productive, because on IRC or on Facebook or whatever, there's more interesting stuff and so on. And that you can't really control the productivity of a developer on a day-to-day -day basis. So they are really scared. So think about it. So how can you improve your? Uh, how can you improve that situation? So when you when you speak to a manager, speak about your goals. Yeah. So as I said before. Try to say, explain the feature in your own words. Uh, so, let me say, um, did I get this right? You want to do this, or the customer should do this. So repeat in your own words, and talk about goals. Don't talk about, hey, I want to implement this, or I want to rewrite code, so why would you do that? Go with the goal and say, Hey, if you do this, this is going to help us so much. We're going to be better than, and so on. And when, usually when, when someone asks you to do something, or when your manager asks you to do something, uh, usually there is more than one way to do it. And uh, when, when, when you propose this uh, way, three different solutions, explain uh, pros and cons of this solution. So you say, okay, we can, we can have this done in, a, uh, in two days, but if you really want to use it more often than, than once, it should be probably better to invest three more days and then we can use it anytime we want, much more easily. Uh, manager tenants can understand this, uh, so try to do this. Uh, when you try to explain uh, some technical stuff, 
Um, it's usually a good idea to use some real world examples. So, manager will um, usually know a lot about cars, about food, about whatever. So, try to compare that. Um, what's really good, um, what, what works really good is uh, try to communicate proactively. So, don't go and wait until your manager asks you how far are you, how, um, what's the status. Just once a day or twice a day say, hey, we're doing really great progress. Even if you don't, say, hey, we're doing really good progress. And uh, when you have three different solutions to it, and, um, try to, you can, if you guide your boss manager. Um, it, it, it's gonna give him the feeling that he has the control. So uh, if you make him feel good, he's gonna treat you better always. Relationship with your manager. Um, like in every, first of all, in, like in every relationship, when you have a discussion. Try to avoid two words, always and never. Uh, if you have an argument with uh, your boss, try to avoid these words. It's going to help, and trust me. Um, so improving your relationship is uh, basically show real interest in to, uh, your boss or manager. Um, ask him about his family or whatever. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, um, you don't have to do it too much, but uh, just show a little bit of interest, and uh, this is going to improve your relationship a lot. So small talk always helps. Uh, small favors, yeah. If you if you from time to time do just a tiny thing, if you bring him coffee or whatever. <laughs> we have secretaries for that. Yeah. I think mean, of his feet. Yeah. No, I really mean small favors. Uh, usually they, they will try to return the favor. Yeah. And gain trust. And gain trust means when you say you're gonna be done with this on time and be done with it. Because there's, um, and if you know that you're not going to make it, say it loud and say it on time. Don't say it the next day, sorry I didn't make it. Yeah? This is it's really bad. Because if you say it on time, then maybe you, you can shift plans and someone else can help you as well. So this is really important. Gain trust. Okay. How to handle a mistake? You will screw up something, and everyone screw up. So I do most of the time. Um, so if you find out, okay, I have screwed up. Something is wrong. Communicate immediately. Yeah. Don't wait till someone finds out, or your user finds out, or you get a first complaint. Awesome. Go and say, sorry, I screwed up. It's my responsibility, I did it, no one else did it, it was mine. Of course, only if, if it's really your um, If uh, your team together screwed up, don't go there and say, we screwed up, but take your team with you and say, we screwed up. So everyone is behind it. Explain how it happened, but the most important thing, make sure it never happens again. So when you try to learn from your mistakes. This is, I do it every day. I learn from my mistakes. Huh. Hey, so, has someone any suggestion how to ask for a favor? Well, first bring them a coffee. <laughs> yes, yes, that's a good point. <laughs> Um, actually, it, it's a good, it's a much better idea to bring coffee than to bring something cold. 
because when you uh, give someone something something hot, it's going to be more uh, friendly to you than if you're giving something cold. That's they, a real study. That's a real study. Yeah. yeah. So good thing, bring my coffee. My beer is cold. <laughs> Actually, this doesn't work in summer when it's too hot. You should bring him some scotch. <laughs> okay. After you brought him coffee, um, first of all, you can only ask for a pay rise if you did a really good job, or if, if he's satisfied. So, bring him to the yes tree. So, are you happy with my work? Are you satisfied? They will then do my work. Um, just give him a few questions where he can only say yes. It's a good thing. And then ask. Don't go and say, I want to earn more money because Bob earns more money. That's it. Don't say, I want. Go out and say, what can I do to earn more money? Or to earn the same amount of money as Bob? And uh, when, he, when you get an answer, that is hopefully something. Try to define measurable goals. Yeah. It doesn't have to be uh, immediately, yeah? but try to define some measurable goals. Okay. If I do this feature on time, or uh, if uh, we success with this project, yeah, then just just bind him on something yeah, that is measurable, that you uh, you can uh, control, so that is in your control, and that should do. even better. Uh, if you don't get a um, uh, good response on the first question. Go out and say, what would you do if you were on my uh, place? Stop asking for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> no, just go and say, what would you do to earn uh, the same money, more money like Bob or something? Go out and try this. I'm sure mostly should work. Yeah, that's the end of my talk. Thank you very much. If you liked it, please rate it.